You do it. Oh, uh, yeah. We are recording. I have a pleasure room. Do you want to see? Dude, I've still been trying to figure out what is the corner of this. Is that a screen or is that a bed? <laughs> <laughs> That's how I um, I'll force trades when <laughs> there's nothing to trade. I was going to say, dude, I've been wondering for seven years what this sick bastard has on that screen. <laughs> <laughs> Use your imagination there. Exactly. Oh, man. <laughs> Dude, what should we tackle first? We got pumpers, bro. We got people sweating on live streams. We got a fire watch list. We got- How about people. we do this, guys? We'll, we'll talk about risk management real quick. Giveaways. We're gonna talk about risk management real quick. Let's the, do it. I, I posted the link earlier. Everybody, everybody, everybody should watch this. Um, the latest uh, Instagram Live, where I discussed, uh, I'm gonna copy that again, guys. Yeah, yeah, post that again, Bob. Okay, we'll copy this again. This is a must watch, guys. I go over all of the different types of risk that you can layer on. Because what separates us from others is the fact that we teach risk management. We talk ma risk management. We make sure that you do not fucking blow up. Oh, yeah. Uh, everybody else is fucking bragging that they're down hundred thousand dollars and then they fucking break even on the trade. I mean, well, that's bragging, like, like bragging, like as if it was cool. Like what the dude, fuck? I, dude, you know what, man? I, I fucking, I had two foo streamers going on. I had a farmer and this other guy and the <laughs> other guy made, made farmer look like a, like Warren Buffett, dude. Seriously. <laughs> Yeah, the other guy was like, oh, my God. He, he, he put his hands on his fucking, like, temple of his head and started fucking, like, like praying that the stock would go down. Dude, he was, bro, he was sweating like a stuck pig. Did you see him? Dude, N-E-G-G -G started out at $34 a share or something. He stuck at $34. And then, and then he's praying to God. And I'm, I'm just like, oh, my God, this is pathetic. He's making these fucking voices and... I'm, I'm looking at him like, dude, I, I'm afraid I'm going to call the police so we can take him away, dude. <laughs> he needs to like go into a sanitarium or some shit. And then <laughs> and, and when he got bailed out, he started playing the Rocky music and put his hands up. He like Rocky Balboa, you know, like the movie. Yeah. Like, you know, he came back from the dead. I'm like, oh my God. Meanwhile, meanwhile this is where oh. he was shorting. <laughs> and he's like, you know, he, he's down like eighty to $100,000 and he came up like eight, up 8000 so he, no. he risked like his entire fucking banker. He basically blew out one account. He had to bring out a larger account yep. to fucking to trade. So he goes, okay, I'm going to bring out a larger account to, to try to work off this loss. It's like, oh, that's smart. So the larger account go blow. So what are you going to do? You're going to call your mom to bring out your fucking, you know, your, your fucking, their retirement fund? I mean, this well, is let, the let, worst, let, worst, no, not, worst way to fucking educate someone to trade. Dude, I, let's I, not. Let's not gloss over the fact that that may be the funniest thing I've heard in forever, dude. He made Farmer look like Warren Buffett. That's how bad this guy was. Dude, dude, I, I think I think fucking like the, all all the guys in that fucking knit with don't fuck chat room was like I'm joining Farmer. Fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> so so now we realize the first step is this sweaty guy the second step is farmer then the third is come to mic and learn unlearn all the bad habits if you lost all so so you lose half your money on this dumbass you lose the other half and then now you got fucking peanuts laughing you have to negotiate tosh or have fucking like a twenty dollars fucking off of the monthly trying to swindle me for a fucking annual dude <laughs> like yeah oh I, I, I mean i just can't i just can't take it sometimes guys it's it's, <laughs> it's like Oh, uh, it's like a fucking guy that's like eating McDonald's, like 50 pounds of weight, which is like me, trying to fucking do it, trying to give it a seminar on fucking eight minute uh, abs and shit, you know? How to get a six pack. And I'm fucking rolling in, like eating hot pot, you know? Dude, that, that's, that's exactly what it is, dude. It's like With the hot dog eating, eating contest guy. It's like me being a fitness guru or, or fucking abs abstaining from sex or some shit. <laughs> Dude, I literally laugh more on these webinars than I do in my normal life, bro. <laughs> hey, Tosh, it's like me saying that I want to give up uh, girls and all that shit. It's like a <laughs> when we both know where I'm lying, <laughs> I can never give up girls. You know, I, I, I can't if I had a choice between stocks or girls, right? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Oh, man, dude. So Stocks, stocks is my bitch, though. Anyways, guys, I, 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 just, I just can't believe some of this shit. Like, I, I mean, I, I, you have to see it to fucking believe. I wish I should have fucking recorded this guy. He was, he was basically talking to himself and, 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 and like praying to the fucking gods and shit that, that the stock goes down. I, I mean, it's fucking ridiculous. I mean, I'm like, is this fucking for real? Are people paying for this shit? 
if you guys go back in the main commentary this morning, dude, me and Bao were literally ranting on a huge live, like real time. It was unbelievable what this schmuck was doing to his members, man. So I don't like, know what's worse. Is he a half ass or a full ass or a no ass? <laughs> <laughs> so is a half ass better than a full ass? I, I really don't know. So, yeah. <laughs> so, so, so someone that, that, that knows these idioms better than I do is seriously. So is a half ass better than a dumb ass? I mean, full ass? Or jackass? <laughs> Dude, the fact that this guy made Farmer look like Warren Buffett just is like, I don't Dude, even know I, anymore, man. Fuck, dude. I mean, I'm, I'm like, this, this, I, I, let me just give a little brief history of this guy. I don't want to fucking keep picking on this guy, but I want to pick on this guy. Right? This guy not, <laughs> I'm fucking day trading. This guy was fucking opened up his fucking service, a pump and dump service, trading penny stocks. He made money. He bought some fucking McLaren, and then he fucking lost it. He basically said, I'm quitting day trading now. And then all of a sudden he comes back. But that's not the thing. He made this fucking video. How to read level two. In the fucking level two. First of all, he didn't have all of the ECNs in his level two. His level two had like four fucking market makers on it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? That's He's, your first red flag. It's like, I'm like, where are the rest of your fucking level two market makers and ECNs? It's like, and then he sees this fucking one, he goes, dude, there's only 400 shares. And then the next level is like 50 cents up. And I'm, I replied to him, like, you dumbass, you realize you can hide shares. And next, you know, he deleted that fucking video. It's not fucking making those. <laughs> I'm like, this motherfucker doesn't even know that you can hide shares on the level two. He's reading a level two. I'll give you a fucking example now. I mean, let me find an example. I think we probably have this recorded somewhere in our video library too. We're about uh, just downing this guy. So, you know, it's kind of like he sees like a bunch of like just like 200 shares, 400 shares, and he thinks that that's all it is on the offer. Meanwhile, the stock is trading like 50 million shares, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good Lord. Guys. Yeah, he's doing all like Apple. <laughs> uh, some, some days I can take it, guys. Other days I just want to like, like, dude, let's. Let me, I want to, can, can I fucking raise my hand and, and be on his IG live? I guarantee you he's not on IG live. <laughs> oh my God, these guys, dude. I, swear, I just want them to, I challenge any of these guys to a trade-off. No sheep, no pump. You can use, he can use his fucked up level two if he wants. And we'll just do a fucking one day trading. Simple, one hour, the first hour of trading and see who makes more money. Dude, I it's not that, about the so. making the money. You'll, my whole point is this. It's not about the P mail guys. Cause you know what, man, every process you can have an off day, right? This is the point is these guys have no process unless they have sheep. Their process is to load up on a low flow. This is their process guys. They open up a scanner part. The, the scanner has on it the float and they're sorting by the float. Oh, this thing has low float. I'm going to buy it, pump it to my guys. That's the first pump, okay? And then since the stream on YouTube is delayed by like 10 seconds or whatever it is, or 15 seconds, that's the second wave of buying. And then the second, second wave of buying, they are selling. You see how the pump works. They get in first. It spikes up because of their room, their members spike it up. And then the, another spike is from the YouTube stream from which they sell. So they never fucking lose. If they lose it, they're the dumbass, which they are a dumbass because they do lose sometimes, yeah? Bro, the, the, Bauer, do you remember that nobody was ever YouTube live streaming until all of these guys figured out that there was a lag and that they could front run? Dude, that was the best thing that ever could have happened to them is the fact that they got a big lag to their audience. So they get in and it looks like real time to you, the audience. Dude, it isn't. They plan that shit. Yup. Now it's everyone's on live stream, dude. Good lord, dude! It's, it's, it's just the most fucking. I, I'm, like, I'm just like you guys are dumb as fucking shit. None of these motherfuckers can trade with shit. I'm calling you all out, guys. You want to come at me? Come at me. Let's fucking let, let's get on the debate and let's figure out if you can trade or not. And if you have no business trade uh, teaching guys, how are these guys being able to be fucking mentors? I mean, I mean, dude, Jesus, I I don't. If I was a snitch, man, I would fucking make so much money by being. <laughs> Dude, I, it, you're lucky I don't fucking work for the SEC. I would fucking go in there and all these motherfuckers would go to prison, dude. But then again, I enjoy shorting them, so I won't gonna say shit. I encourage you. I know, okay, right, guys. dude? Val, yeah, no, we'd we'd really have to adapt our styles, bro. If there weren't pumps in the in the small cap market, it's crazy, right? It's like a given. Oh, this day. is why I teach you guys, dude. I teach you guys to fucking that fucking what stock was that? Bond. That's the Bond. shit. Right? 
Bond. Uh, I'll show it. I'll pull it up side by side. Bond. Bond. James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, James Bond. He's where the fuck is that guy? <laughs> oh shit. Uh, but anyways, you know that that that's what it is, man. You see the Holtz and stuff. That's them fucking pumping it up, and then then they walk away. And you know what they tell you? They go, "Oh, um, I have a disclaimer. You should not follow my trades." But you motherfucker, you're bragging about your trades to the fucking all the streamers. You, you should have gotten in this shit. I made a lot of money on this shit. I showed their P and L's, and then when you lose, well, well, you shouldn't have gotten in the trade because I'd made a disclaimer. You know, you guys, you guys think anybody? Oh, sorry, let me pull back. I'll, I'll do this angle. You guys think anybody who doesn't have a major following would have long this bullshit right here with no volume unless they had a following? You're out of your mind, and you don't understand trading. Who the hell would long right here, dude? Hey, did Bond go up? <laughs> <laughs> yup. Oh, shit. Am I missing that? that? that no, no, no. I, I meant this morning. This oh, is hey, what, You got me all excited, bro. No, 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 no. Val's like, well, let me get another pump. No, <laughs> read, uh, Val. I'll show you the video library category. Sometimes I, sometimes I subscribe and just start posting these stickers so they can pump it so I can uh, short it. <laughs> exactly. But, dude, this is, this is the point that I'm trying to say, guys, is like, dude, you have to understand the mindset of a fool, of a con artist, of a criminal. He's got a following. He knows if he gets in right here, it's so illiquid that he could get an artificial move. And if he's delayed on YouTube, dude, where do you think this is going to go? So, again, like – this is the this is the crookedness of the industry that that MIC was born to to teach you guys what to stay away from, dude. Dang, look at look at that fucking D E L A, dude. Look at my fucking Oh Zella. Let me. Let me I just fucking went long on on when I said that. Holy that shit. was a that was a really good that was a really good That's cut, good. bro. Would you here? Let me let me let let's okay, blow maybe, this we'll up. Talk about this trade again. Let's just, blow this up. This stock was fucking hard. Okay, if you pull out the two-day chart on it. Yep, right here. I'm going to pull out the two-day chart on Zella. This is where we're talking about, guys. This is the main area where Bao cut for a perfect cut. This is what we're talking about. This is, so this is the reason why I shorted this. This is like a low-hanging fruit. One of the, but the problem with the list low-hanging fruit, so the best low-hanging fruit are the ones that happen at the open within 10 minutes. If after 15 minutes comes, cancel your shit. They're coming back to you. Fucking kick your ass, right? So this is what happened, dude. If, look at this. Zombie hour. It's zombied at the 1030 zombie rule. And then it fucking just went up and killed everybody that are stubborn. And then, the, so take a look at where I cut it off. I cut it off where, where I realized this shit ain't going down again. It was making a higher low. So I got out of the first mess. You see me trying to like average. I, I, I had a small size. So I, you know, I, did, I only lost like $140 overall in the stock. So it's not yep. that big. So um, I wasn't sized much, but the fact that, so usually 90% of the time it would reject somewhere off of the VWAP because it came from way under VWAP and I call it exhaustion, but then it did not drop. The moment it did not drop. That's why I knew shit is going to go wrong. So I started to cover on every dip. Okay. And then what happens, I waited, I waited to see if I could get a double top. And you saw that one short at seven, uh, 200, 294 or something like that. Right. Yep. Um, and then it didn't go down, dude. It barely went down. So I said, I'm, 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 I, and three o'clock was coming. 3 p.m. rule. That's why I covered. 3 p.m. rule. The fact that it broke, it did not go down. And I'm like, dude, it reclaimed where I shorted. And, and then what happened is it broke the high of day. And sure enough, boom. So you have to understand time-based rules. You have to understand the fact that it VWAP reclaimed and held the VWAP. That's the key. The key is a lot of stocks VWAP reclaim, but does not hold the VWAP. It goes back down. This one bounced right back up once it once it went back down to VWAP. So this shit, this shit is this shit is strong. No, it, it was a perfect cut bout because, like you always talk about, this is one of my favorite moves. If we're if we are playing midday, like you said, it's a long drop off lows. It's a long journey to VWAP. It should have tanked right here. It should have crashed, especially lined up with this resistance. The fact that it didn't and you got a little bit stuck, and I don't mean stuck, stuck, just a little bit, that you can work your way out of a position on dips like you did, like which is what the discussion is right here. And then you try to attack right here and you get out on dips. This is average fixing. But then right here, dude, this cut is so freaking perfect based on the time-based trading, when you should be out, when the edge is losing, dude, the, 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 the clock is ticking for your edge. I, it's, it, this was a really, really good cut, man.
This is yeah, what professional. I, I, call, I, I, I say it's like, you know, it's a closing, closing time at the bar. I got to get one last fucking drink before I, I got to cut that shit and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and I know Val, and he does that in the bar. <laughs> I'm looking at the clock. This shit's closing. This shit is closing. I don't want to get stuck here. So I fucking, you know. So, I, I, so the moment that I came back close to where I was um, short, I said, screw this shit. It, it, it went down. It should have kept going down, but it did not. And it's too close to 3 p.m. I, I'd rather just play it safe, dude. I'd rather not make money on the stock. The stock, I was wrong all day. Let someone else be wrong on it. I completely agree, buddy. I completely any, agree. Any stock that goes from way under VWAP to reclaiming and holding VWAP is an avoid short. It, you know, if I was a better trader, maybe I would have went long. But this stock already, I lost on it. And so when you lose on a stock, sometimes it's very difficult to switch bias on it. That's, that's you know, imagine if I went long and then lost, dude. It would fuck me up mentally. <laughs> that's still no, that's still something after seven years, man. I just haven't really been able to ever do or master is if I lose on the short and I know it's a long, bro. It's so hard for me to pull the trigger and say, okay, now it's long. If that's a very hard the, thing. The, to do. the thing was this this I was not convinced enough to go long because this this stock came from under VWAP. It was still kind of shaky. It was not a smooth, continuous long. So sure. I, if I was, so a lot of times you saw me like I, I go from long to short and short to long, like in the morning on low float squeezers because I am more confident. This stock is an end of day, any day anything can really happen. To be honest, you know, right. it, it could squeeze up or it could totally tank down. Oh, and guys, for any of our members, man, two things with Stephen today. Actually, two things he created this list. Um, that is kind of like a rule set based guide on how to get started in MIC or just trading in general. So if you're a member, please download this today. And number two, Val, before we forget, there was also a giveaway today. So I just wanted to remind you whatever time. You I, I think the giveaway, are, are we doing for next week? We're just announcing it for. Well, you know what? I, I think it was kind of Alex said that um, Steven was going to do something with the giveaway. So it's honestly. Okay. You, know, That's fine. you want to bring Steven on? Yeah. Uh, yeah, bring Steven on, man. I'll come off. I'll, I'll, I'll stay here all too, but uh, bring Steven on. Steven, let us know if you're available right now or we could do it um, towards the end if you're not right now. Just let us know, buddy. Maybe he might be he might be traveling or something, but Steven's going to do something with this giveaway today. So it's really cool, man. Or someone is. So, uh, is it Steven or is it JJ? I can't remember. I, sorry, Steven, I might have said the wrong name. I think it's JJ. <laughs> hey, it's JJ. <laughs> I'm like, who's, who's, who's doing the giveaway? Oh, it's JJ. Okay. Steven, you know what? Sorry, buddy. You're on the hook. <laughs> uh, JJ, do you, are you ready to come on? Buddy? We, we, we just volunteered uh, Steven to give away money. I'm like, Harry, you giving away too? <laughs> hey, you're, yay, we're giving away a lifetime membership. I think uh, we nominate you, Steven, to give away. <laughs> Steven's so cool. He's like, yeah, dude, whatever. I'll bring me on. <laughs> JJ, are you available, buddy? We could bring you on and talk about this giveaway. Let me let, let let me know if you're available right now, or you even want to talk about it. Man, because what we're doing today, guys. Okay, cool. Let me let me bring you on there, pal. One sec. All right, JJ. JJ, what's your tag name on? I'm trying to find you, pal. JJ, what are you listed under the participants, man? One sec. Let me type that in. No, nah, it's not under the, on, on the attendees. That's not what it is. Maybe something else. One sec, guys. We're going to bring on JJ here in a second. Just trying to find him in the list. Is it just under James? Ah, thank you. All right, maybe that'll do it. Three, three two. Let's no, go. I still don't know what your tag name is. I can't find you, bro. <laughs> Shit. I made enough today. Oh, I said I want to show what my I made on the small account. So I'm I can't look up that. through email, bud. Can you hear me? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, Val. What are you What are you doing? Yeah, while well, he's doing that, remember I said every each week I do here. I want to show the P and L that little account that I was trading. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you doing that? Did you start that? uh here so so every week i take it out so i'm i'm gonna take out another fifteen thousand this week so 
<laughs> so look at the, the the point is look at the equity. You don't need you don't need much. It was like thirty two thousand or something. Uh, you don't need much to make money. This is a smaller account I trade with. I have another account I trade with too. So I trade with like two or three accounts. Um, but I just want to show you that you know what, man, you can make really good money. Just just follow the process. You don't need to be a gunslinger. You don't need to. This is a small amount of equity, guys. Mm -hmm. This if, if if I was making four thousand a day, this is a million dollar a year off of a forty thousand dollar account. Right? Yeah, post it, brother. Let's see. Oh shit! I posted on the watch list. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Where? What are you talking about, man?" Oh my bad. But oh, look at so every week I'll show you what I did just just to show you the small account and you know it adds up and stuff. So so I want to take all money again. Every time I hit around fifty thousand, I take it off. So I take around fifty. 15,000 off. Dude, that's so awesome, man. Start with 35,000. When you get up to 50, take it out, man. Or just wire it as you go, guys. Like, you don't have to do when necessarily Scott and Alex do exactly. 32 last week. So, all right, JJ, I can't find you in attendees, brother. So just tell us what you're doing in text and we'll talk about it, buddy. I, I literally can't find you for the life of me, man. Just type the name that you uh, registered under, JJ. I want to, I want him to bring on because I probably want to interview him. Oh, she's, you know, I, I'd love to bring him on. I'm just trying yeah. to find <laughs> This gives me a chance to talk. I'm really tired today, guys. I'll name every J I'll name every dude. It's not under there, bro. It's not your tag name in MIC. It's your tag name in the webinar. Uh, Zoom. In the, in the Zoom webinar. Because if so I type you, that in, you, I can't find you. When, so, when, when you join Zoom, they ask you for your email and all that name. James, it, it, I see a James here, but that's all it says. Is that you? Are you just simple James? <laughs> oh, okay, cool. That's what I was asking earlier. Okay, cool. So let me bring you on. You should be good to talk. Hey. Yo, what's up, buddy? Hey, guys. What's happening? Santa Claus himself. <laughs> Wait, is this JJ? This is the most lively JJ I've ever freaking heard. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah, JJ. It's me, guys. <laughs> what's up pal? Well, how are you so happy brother i love it i love this new new uh, shoot man i i love i love my life right now you know i just i'm, I'm being taught so much and uh i just so before, so, before we do that let's 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 review what you've been up to and and why are you so happy compared to before because before jj making right? money <laughs> no because well, you I do making, that. hey i did that money before but i think you're you're less stressed right is that what's going on Oh, well, we, we just had a new grandbaby, and uh, I haven't been around for a while, guys, honestly, because, shit, I got to get my sleep, because that grandbaby shows up here at our front door with the parents by, uh, <laughs> you know, 7 o'clock, and oh. so I... Uh, uh, messing up your trading, brother. Huh? It's messing up your trading. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, except that's not the first one, man. This is like, I got, I, I've got uh, seven grandkids. Holy hell, dude. Jesus. That's good, man. That's, you know, that's a big happy giving. But you know what I love, man? I love the fact that, you know what, man? JJ doesn't have to go to work anymore. This is his job. He chooses when he wants to work. Exactly, Val. Exactly. And uh, so tell us what you're doing different than you did before. Because I remember you're sitting around all day before trading. Now, now you're telling me, hey, man, you have a bigger picture aspect. Well, the thing too was that um, with the help of Bao, you know, I I could not figure out my deficiencies in trading, guys. I just could not figure out why I could not make money, and and Bao led me to uh, a different train of thought. And then Joe Kelly, Joe, if you're out there, thank you. You know, it's just like take what the market gives you, man. Don't be a greedy bastard. And yeah, because I remember JJ was always up, and then he gave everything back, being greedy. Exactly. I was a greedy bastard. I, I, I'm, I'm the first to admit. I'd be up green. I, I'd take a green day, and I'd wind up red, and I could not figure it out. And then finally one day, I texted Bao, and Bao got back to me, and he said, dude, you know, <laughs> you're greedy. <laughs> And that's a hard pill to swallow, man. Because every, everybody's whole, looking for it, the home run. Exactly, Val. Exactly. Everybody's looking for the home run, and and that was me. And uh, 
And then we talked about how, you know what, man, you, you remember, just, just like in baseball, what's the home run? Four bases. Four, how, how often can you hit a, a single in trading all the time, right? Well, yeah, and the thing is, is uh, you know, I'm a softball dad. I, ha- I sent both of my girls to uh, Division I championship uh, high, uh, rather colleges playing Division I championship softball. And uh, I, for whatever reason, forgot about how important the singles are, man. And, and when Bao put it out there, you know, he just says, stop, stop batting for home runs. And it clicked. And then um, I grew a very small account. I don't even, Bao helped me here. I, I, don't ever, I don't remember when. It was way under PDT too. Yeah. Oh, under PDT, right. And, yeah. and that was like last year in 2020 or whatever. But I got pissed because I'll tell you what, I got mad because my 1099 from Trade Zero was 98,000 bucks. Oh, you got to pay taxes. But you can do the blockchain. <laughs> what? What is this? Right. And then, then I ran to my tax accountant and he says, buddy, you, uh, you got to pay some bills here. And I said, well, if I, got, I, got the money, I got the money to do that with. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the worst part of trading. How much taxes come with it, right? Uh, right. God. And so I was, I was, it, it's been good though. And, um, I've and you know, those, those are, those are finally the good problems to have. Having, you know, Big yes. Taxes on women. <laughs> Not <having to> <laughs> yeah. Right. Bob? And, and the thing is, is that I, I, I doled out thousands of dollars to um, my daughter who put uh, a bathroom upstairs in her house in New York. And that, that was really costly. Um, I, I paid for my MIC lifetime membership and for me, mentally, my God, you guys have no idea what it means to not be burdened with a monthly or an annual fee that I have to pay. I'm like free of this and all because of MIC. I, I, I just, I, I, I pour my heart out to you guys for teaching me, man. Dude, I love that. Man. Show, show, show people what you did today, man. It's very amazing. I mean, you know what, man, guys? People think that, hey, JJ woke up one day and started banging out money. No, this was a long, long, a journey. long, long process. I've known JJ. I've seen him on Twitter for a long time, man. I'm very happy to be brother. Well, I appreciate it too. Hey, so guys, um, I don't know how we should approach this uh, about what my offering is. So I'll leave it up to you, Tosh and Bao. I don't know if you discussed it yet. We, I, I just love the fact that you're offering this. You don't have to worry about this. Get this, this award is going to be in honor of JJ, but MIC will pick it up. So yeah, we're going to pick it up. And it was really just a thought that was the most. But basically, JJ is giving this to whoever um, we we do pick, but we'll cover the tab, man. But it but it's basically from JJ, guys. This is the opportunity from JJ. So you know, I, JJ, say it out, man. Guys, I'll I'll do this. I mean, you know, I I, I can afford this, and uh, I just wanted to let anybody know that if you have any questions about your uh, your abilities uh, as a trader, um, if if you're questioning yourself you have to give yourself time. And with that, my, my proposal was to Alex and Bao and, and you, Tosh, I will do the dole, man. I'll do the dole. I will pay whoever they pick for a one month free membership because I believe in MIC so much. Dude, we appreciate, hey, I appreciate that, you, man. JJ. You don't have to. This is the, the thought that counts because it's actually easier on accounting than we do. <laughs> so oh. I'll help you out there, brother. Save, <laughs> save that money for the tax man. The tax yeah, man is knocking this year. You know, I'm pretty sure you're up nicely this year, knock on wood. Save that. You're going to need every penny to pay the tax. 
Well, and, and, the, and the reason why we say this, guys, is because – and the reason why we still want to bring JJ on, even though we were going to do this without even telling him, is because, dude, it shows what the – it shows what the community aspect of MIC is. It's not about even just trading. It's – dude, JJ's been doing so well himself. He follows along the guidelines, or, or he took it upon himself to follow along the guidelines. That is the whole MIC mission is to pay it forward, is to bring the elevator back down to some individual who's not living – the, the dream life that JJ transitioned and evolved into. And we want that for all you guys. So dude, I mean, I mean, this is all literally from JJ, man. This was his idea. He came to us. He's like, I'm, I'm, I'm prospering so well. I came such a long way. I, I just want to give it to another. Like I, I want to. So, you know, dude, this is all JJ, man. Seriously. Yep. Congrats, JJ. And, and again, guys, I'm, uh, I, you know, just, uh, tell me what to do. Am I see? And, uh, uh, you know what, Matt? Keep doing what you're doing. I love the fact you're helping and inspiring other people. That to me is priceless, brother. What, and, what you're and, doing every day is priceless. Right, and, and I think what's what's really important here when you take a guy like Tosh, uh, Bow, Alex, James Friedlander, if you're out there, buddy. Um, you know, you guys give back so much to this community for me to give up 200 bucks. And I make that in like 10 seconds sometimes in a trading day is the least that I can do. And by the way, I'm going to trade right now. I'm shorting XELA, right? And I've already made three times the amount of money that I wanted to contribute. While we were talking. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. I love it. Love it. And, hey, that's and, great. and so you people out there at MIC, Believe in yourselves, listen to, to Tosh and Alex and James and Tom Diesel uh, and, and all these mods, man. And, and uh, I mean, listen to these guys because they are putting you on the right track, you know, and, and, and Chicago, Matt, Chicago Trader, Joe, uh, you know, Aloha. All these people, they're here at your disposal. And you guys just, you have to be patient with them and be patient with yourself. But what's really required is that you put your best foot forward and study. And that's all I got to say about that. I love it, man. You Dude, have, you, have the discipline, you guys. Awesome. Follow, follow the rules. It's... It sounds simple, but it's very hard because you have to have discipline, guys. Uh, all it takes is one mistake as you see that these guys blowing up left and right on N-E-G-T. Uh, if you have no willpower, just take that shit off the screen. There's no reason for you even look at N-E-G-G and, and torture yourself. <laughs> you know? If you're on a diet, you shouldn't be watching the fucking Food Network. You know, shit like that. So. <laughs> <laughs> the hot dog even got it. Right? <laughs> JJ, the, the thing I always loved about you, man, is is not, not only, you know, do a lot of people don't know how long it took you and all the things that you've you've done and, and just, you know, staying, just perseverance, man. But the thing that I love about your story, man, is you did big caps, you did small caps, you did, like, bro, you tried everything. And finally, like, you just really, really came to grips with what worked for you. And I know it took time. I know it did. But, dude, you really put in the work, man. And you went through the ringer, brother. You did. So, you know, hats off to you for trying everything, man. And that's, that's important. He never gave up. He never gave up. That's the thing. Yeah. And, you know, and, yeah, and, and that's so true. And every morning, guys, when I wake up and I come to my screens, I tell myself, you're good. Don't give up. Give it your best. Positive self-talk, baby. You have to say that to yourself because if you come to your screens with a negative attitude, if you've had some a, a, a bad loss the day before or, you know, whatever, you just got to come back with no fear. You've got to come back with a more of a humble attitude, I would say. And just say, look, my goal for today is don't lose money. Simple as that. My goal for today is don't lose money. So share with everybody what steps that you've taken now to make sure that you don't lose your money back. 
Oh, my goodness. I have my, uh, my max daily loss at my broker. I have an auto liquidation at my broker also, but I have a uh, liquidation uh, on each stock as well. That's good. That's what I recommend as well. So that's double protection. Right. And um, I practice humbly putting in my hard stops. And sometimes I don't even wait for my hard stops to hit. I can look at the screen now and say, whoa, this is not good for me. <laughs> <laughs> I got a gut feeling about this one. <laughs> and I'm out of here. And I, I just closed the trade. And it's, it's so effortless, right? Dude, I love so that. effortless. You this, this is the next generation type of trading mentality when you do not have to lose the max amount. There's so many traders out there that their mentality is I either go broke or I make my goal. You know, they don't, they don't have the in between. So I see a lot of people either have max loss every day or they make their little money. Yeah, like a little scalp or a max loss. This is ridiculous. So JJ is completely right. I keep telling people, man, when you realize you're wrong, Get the hell out. You don't need to wait for your max loss to be wrong. Thank you, Bo. And, and God, I, love that. I, I, I do that. I just, you know, I can, I can just see when, when, the, when, the, when the chart's going against me, I go, I'm out. I'm done. I don't need for it to, to, to hit my line or, you know, or my stop, I should say. Uh, I, I don't need to wait. I need to just get out. And then when I'm out, um, I pat myself on the back because I was able to recognize a bad, that's the thing, recognize a bad situation, right? And that's that intuition that traders, as we develop, develop, we, we, we can grow into. When you recognize a bad chart pattern, or you recognize when that thing is going against you, there's no reason to hang out and wait for it to hit, hit your stop. It's like, get out of town. Well, and JJ, that's what I was saying earlier in the first part of this webinar, man, is I was saying, you know, there really is like, I'd say for a guy who does not have bad habits, right, that comes in brand new fresh, it takes like three months, I'd say, at the very least to really get your footing. And that's a that's a really good case scenario. Because after that, you're just going to develop these things that you that little nuances that you see, like JJ is seeing that hard stops are not just set a hard stop and let it hit or let it not hit. Like, if he feels like the trade's not right, dude, these are the things you really pick up. They're subtle little nuances as a professional day trader that you just get over time. And this is why the consistency and the repetition of being in a community like this, where we talk about this, because maybe JJ sets a hard stop and it hasn't hit yet. And me, Bao, and Alex are all warning, and he doesn't have a gut feeling about it. And he's like, you know what, dude? I'm going to cut it before. And even saves himself money. So this is the, these are the tricks that you find, man. I love this, dude. Yeah. And one, I'll just add one more thing, guys. I know, I know you're busy. You got to go. But um, uh, uh, Tosh, yeah. in, in, in addition to that thought, you know, it's exactly how, how you've said, you know, as traders, we set parameters um, in the morning. We're up very early. Yeah. We see pre-market highs. We see pre-market lows and we're setting lines there. We're seeing these differentiations on what the chart is starting to show us. And we set lines there. Uh, we go to our watch lists. We go to uh, main chat, which is, you know, mana from heaven because everybody, <laughs> everybody's talking. And, and, and that is so important. And so when we get into a trade, um, you know, you have those lines set and you see the trade not going for you is the ideal time to just say to myself, cut my loss. And, and that's what I do. And I cut my loss in many times. It's seriously, it's half of what it would have been. JJ, I love what you said this morning when you said MIC main chat is your safety belt. Like the first hard stop in your trading is the fact that MIC has 
three mentors, 18 moderators in the same chat, and we are all talking about the same four to eight stocks in play, and we know who's long bias, we know who's short bias, and, and what I mean by that is we just know what their comfort level is. We're not even biased, like that's the whole point. So I love what you said right here is, dude, the first hard stop is being part of the community. The second hard stop is actually planting that hard stop. Dude, I love that. Um, Absolutely. And by the way, uh, Alex, thank you for saying that seatbelts and the MIC main chat is a seatbelt. And for those of you that don't think so, you're not getting up early enough because if you aren't, you need to scroll all the way to the top and see what people are talking about. Right. And that's going to give you it's like a divining rod. It's going to show you where the water is or where the water isn't. And so, check, so check this out for comparison. Alex trades the first hour, but he's up two to three hours before that planning the trades. So the, the point is plan your trades. And that's where JJ wakes up early. He's reading, he's planning with us. He's reading what we're saying. So there's a reason why I wake up at 5 a.m. The market over here doesn't open until another hour and a half. And 5 a.m. is already not enough time for me. I'm already tired, right? But the fact that I'm up an hour and a half before planning these trades, so these, the, the, the entries, the exits that, that we plan, they're not by accident. They're not made up on the fly. JJ plans everything just like we, you know, that, just like he's been taught, right? He's up early. What time do you get up, JJ? Uh, this morning I was up at like 2.50, and this is West Coast time, so I'm like, <laughs> I'm up and, and even, even even coffee doesn't help me, man. I'm just dude. Random. What time do you sleep? You sleep like at fucking five p.m. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bao, you know, because you're you're on the West Coast too, right? Well, dude, Bao's not, we, we, you know, Bao's not human. He goes to bed at three a.m. and can wake up at five a.m. So he's not human, dude. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's right, a right. different story, JJ. <laughs> yeah. So so I uh, you know I'm. I'm back at it, but I've got uh, other family things going on, and I'm, you know, just kind of like in between stuff. But uh, but but you know what? I love the fact that you can choose your own schedule, man. This is the point of date tra of learning to trade, guys. Uh, oftentimes, that we become a slave when when the true meaning of day trading is supposed to be freedom, right? Financial freedom to trade when you want to trade. So JJ popping in here. He made how much you made today, man? <laughs> I don't want to say, man. Just so we know. Motivate, <laughs> motivate, motivate everybody here. Motivation. Oh, shoot. My screens just went dark. Hang on. I got to shake my mouse around. <laughs> Too much money. You broke the screen. Uh, <laughs> you broke his okay. Mouth. Yeah, I made, uh, I made uh, uh, 48.25. So almost so all Jay, time, So dude. JJ is good for the next week or so. He can go play with his grandkids. <laughs> JJ, you can sleep in late tomorrow if you want and wake up at 5 a.m. <laughs> no, no, man. I'm on a roll here because I see a lot of these low hangers, man. And I'm I love it. There we go. I, I, JJ I, up, dude. I love it. So, JJ, what he did was he went long today, right? He went long on XELA. Yeah, I went long, dude. I, I freaking nailed it. Awesome. And, see, he went long. Where'd you go long? What'd you sell? Oh, shit. I don't know, man. I can't even... Uh, you you become a good trader because he's like me. I don't fucking know. <laughs> fucking make a million trades. Now. I know, right? It's like I just pay attention uh, to the money uh, now. Uh, uh, all I know is tomorrow's a good fucking opportunity for a possible low hanger on all these. So I love it. JJ is going long when he needs to go long. When the setup is a long setup, and tomorrow when the setup becomes a short setup, he goes short. So he, you are actually a very versatile trader, man. You you you, you can go both ways. You're swinging up and down, bro. I love it. Well, you know, you know, and, and thank you for that, guys. Um, but I have to say, you know, I have a lot of years of trading uh, time. I guess I could say experience, but um, you know, uh, I was primarily a long trader uh, before and was scared to short. I was just afraid of shorting, and um, I, I traded tried it with a few other chat rooms. And um, they're not telling you the rule. They're not telling you the secrets, man. So what do you, what do you well, think? They the don't know the secrets. <laughs> what do you think the secrets are? The secrets are to uh, get comfortable with a, with a room that 
uh, first and foremost is honest with you. And you will find that at MIC. They're honest, man. They're, they're telling you 24 seven what's happening. Um, as opposed to being involved in another room that is, um, you know, just calling out maybe alerts. I know that's this kind of, that's a very flagrant term, but, but not showing you what to do and not teaching you what to do. And uh, at MIC is completely the opposite. This is such a quality community of people. Um, you have to stay with it, guys, because one month you might learn something, but two months you're going to learn more, three months more, four months more, and you're going to start getting it because this is an honest community of traders teaching traders. JJ, one of, one of my... Yeah, thank you, thank you. One of one of my the last I wanted to ask JJ this question specifically because you know obviously I I never want to sound biased right because people text my text line they're like Tosh what would you start off with as you know an MIC member if you were doing it all over again and the last thing you know I want to assume is people think I'm just trying to push you know an annual over monthly because it's more expensive right that's never the case dude when when traders come in they're brand new and they're like Tosh what's my best fighting chance I'm like brother the accelerator course and annual is the best freaking start because you're going to have the time to find your identity. And, and, and I, I want to ask you, like, do you think that that's accurate is, is because one month while it's good and you're going to learn a lot of stuff is just, it's not enough to sink your teeth in and really ca catch a groove, right? Like you're going to understand, but man, that three month mark, that five month mark, the, the, the results you start seeing at seven to, to a year, it's just, isn't it light years difference? Oh yeah, absolutely. And, um, you know, uh, I think Bao can relate to this, right. For the computer business, you know, garbage in garbage out. What? But if you're taking in good stuff, then on the outset, you're learning good stuff. And MIC has all the tools, man the accelerator course. I mean, oh my God, I, the videos, everything. And plus you can just look at main chat and just watch people talk and look at your screens and see why they're talking about a, a, a particular ticker, for example. And you, you just can't be rushed, people, if you're, if you're new to this. You have to put in the time to study and um, if you're a good studier, um, I believe personally, uh, like I am, and like I, I was when I came to MIC, back in 2018, by the way, um, <laughs> everything's, all the resources are here. You, you just have to figure it out uh, uh, how much time you want to put in and what, what you put in and what you want to get out of it, I would say. Great, great, man. Dude, you, you're, you're the model citizen, bro. You are the perfect example, man. And we're honored to have you, bro. And, and we're going to continue to see you flourish. And your journey is only going to get bigger and better. And, and, and I, I, tell you, I tell everybody this, man. The moment you finally have the aha moment, do not fucking lose all your money back in one stupid trade. I see so many guys out there, which are not part of MIC, obviously. They, like, they're on Twitter. They, they're up. They, they, they beat their chest. And they, next thing you know, they drop $20,000 on one trade. And there goes their entire account, right? And I'm like, right. well, where's your daily max loss? Where are all these rules? Because what happens is, man, when, when you start making money, a lot of the times you get loose. A lot of times you get too overconfident. You, you start to break the rules because, because you know, hey, sometimes breaking rules make a lot of money, <laughs> you know? So you break your rules and you make money. And next thing you know, dude, the one ultimate, and you get negged. We're going to call that now negged, N-E-G-G. Like that's not that you get naked and you lose your account. I love the fact that JJ, despite all of his accomplishments and you know success recently, he is protecting himself, dude. He's not he's not driving the car without a seatbelt and a and a seat uh, and an airbag and a fucking bumper and all of this safety measures, right? So, so the end of the day, guys, the end of the day, 
what it comes down to is risk management. That's what defines every successful trader. Every successful trader you know is not going to fucking give back their entire fucking year on one trade. Ever, ever, knock on wood. Right, right. Hey, well, so guys. Um, so pick. So how do we pick? <laughs> yeah, how do we pick? Is it a... Uh, we're going to have to go to YouTube. Yep. And... Um, <laughs> I, I could pull that up. Wait, who who on YouTube is not a member? Just just say not a member, not a member. Yeah, yeah so uh, <laughs> guys, spam not a Woody. member, and we'll Woody. pick one of you. <laughs> and then JJ is going to give a number, and I'm going to count off for something. I'll, I will figure out something. Guys, spam not a member on YouTube. The YouTube guys in the comments, if you can, we're we're going to try to filter out who's not a member who can uh, get a free membership for a month. I think I'm a member. <laughs> not a member not a member okay why aren't you guys members <laughs> all right cool well, what are you is gonna come in oh uh, this is so cool right too fun well, well, hey we'll, we'll do this man we'll do this what? uh if we're gonna pick someone whoever we're gonna pick guys you got you have to fucking work your ass off because jj is giving this and then we're gonna match him as well so we're, we're going to have two free ones. Okay, guys. Oh, two free ones. Okay. All right, man. That's cool. Good. Yep. 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 So how are we going to do this? Pick a letter. JJ, pick a letter. Pick a letter. Um, random letter. Uh, random letter. Let's go with S. S. Okay. So whoever's name is S. So the first one with S. Let's see. Let's see. Um, and, and then pick a second letter. Oh my gosh, where does not a member start? Uh, a vowel. A vowel. I mean, pick a pick a, a vowel. A uh, C. C. That's a consonant. Pick a vowel. <laughs> oh, pick a vowel. A. S A. <laughs> okay, S A. I'm looking. I'm looking, dude. I'm looking. At, oh, S A. Uh, Sar Sarvesh Maria, not a member. Good. There we go. The first okay. we talk. That's one. All right. Okay. So S A. Uh, say that one, Tosh. Pick so, another. Uh, pick another uh, consonant. Uh, uh, okay, uh, hold on, hold on one sec, Val. Let me just, uh, guys, for anybody who wins this, so Sarvesh Maria, take a screenshot and then text my business line, and I will get you in. That's how I'm going to get you in. You must take a screenshot, and then yeah, so and then we'll we'll talk about. It, I'll get you in. But uh, okay, so what's the who's who's picking? J uh, no, you okay, pick. Pick another pick another letter. Just pick another letter. It doesn't matter what letter. Uh, let's go with, uh, let's go with T for Tosh and then, uh, no, 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 Tosh, I want James to pick. Oh, James. Oh, oh I was oh. like, shit, I'll just okay. say my name. Letter. Uh, I'll start with a vowel. This is the matter. I don't care. Okay. A vowel? Okay. Well, let's go with E. E. All right. All right. All right. All right. So you got the first E and then what's, uh, give me another, a, a consonant this time. Um, E-L. E-L. Anybody named E-L? Oh, maybe, maybe. That might be harder, but let's see. L. <laughs> El Dudorino. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. There's an EL. <laughs> what? Yo, uh, Elena SPB1. All right. Oh, shit. So, so you what, you, what you both there. need to do. Elena SPB1. Love it. <laughs> I can't believe we just found an EL. That's hysterical. Dude, there's so many people that. People, people love free stuff. <laughs> you claim your free membership. I need you to take a screenshot of this chat, obviously, and you signed in as your member logo and text me and we will get you both in. Love it, guys. I love it. Dude, I how love fun, it. man. How freaking fun. Yeah, we can do some random song. I love it. <laughs> hey, you know, it, I, I, I want to add this two cents, my two cents worth in before I go to everybody that's listening. And this is what the uh, MIC community is about. There's no scams going on, guys. It's just about people taking care of people. That's what a community is about. And when we can come out and, and just say, we want to help somebody, that's a very nice thing to do. And um, I hope that people view MIC is that kind of a community because it's a, it's a beautiful thing. I love it. That's the whole point of MIC, man. That is the whole point. It's not a one man show. It's not a three man show. It's an everybody show. That's the point. So we got the two winners, Tosh, uh, Elena, and what was the other person? Uh, uh, oh shit! I forgot. Alina and Sarvesh, Sarvesh Maria and Alina. Uh, two, two chicks. Nice. Good. 
Um, so guys, claim, claim, just send me a text. You got to prove to me that you're signed in and it's your account, obviously of the winners and, uh, JJ, you're a freaking legend that, that goes without saying. And dude, what a sick webinar, man. Seriously, seriously. This was Thanks, awesome. This, this has been fucking amazing guys. All right. We'll, uh, Hey, text Tosh. Tosh, give me your number again. Yep. Right here. 213-458-5997. You can find it on all social medias as well, but this is where to go. Myinvestingclub.com uh, or myinvestingclub, um, obviously Instagram, Twitter, you can find this everywhere. And uh, guys, we'll see you. Now we'll transition into after hours and talk about our day. So to everybody who came, thank you so much. JJ again, bow again. Hey, how about this, guys? I just fucking met. You yeah, guys have not won for today only, guys. $99, half price the first month okay we'll take you guys 100 bucks off so we hundred dollars off text tosh and to get that to get that you need to text my line 99 or i'm not going to know what you're talking about you this is only for the webinar guys you got to text 99 to my to my text number and you're going to be able to get that yep guys so the guys that lost at least want to save you 100 bucks it won't yep. be free but you know hey put 100 dollars in we pay off the 100 dollars for you so cool guys Thanks, guys Catch you later, right, man. Guys. See you in after hours. See you, JJ. See you, Bell. All right, thanks, JJ. Thanks, guys. We'll see you back in after hours.